And welcome to Memphis, Tennessee. What a time to be alive. It is week two of the UFL, the undefeated San Antonio Brahmas against the undefeated Memphis Showboats. For the Showboats underway at Liberty Stadium in River City is Williams from his 15. Looks for a little momentum, finds it, and a crease, and a big gator all the way into plus territory. A quick little stick route. They fake it to Victor in the pass to the tight end, Sage Surratt. Sage Surratt back on the field, top of the screen. Took us a look his direction, dump it off. Darius Victor with a nice gain inside the 10. Third down and goal for the Showboats. Cook is looking in zone on the slant, and it is caught by Davis for the touchdown. It's all about timing. You get Papali up to get to the outside corner, and Davis just comes and has enough room. Lots of process and a lot of numbers. Joe DiFilippo said he's got to be better calling plays in this moment this week. Cook is towards the pylon. Did he get there? Yes! Split out, let my big behind go down and be an athlete, Kirk. He were big. Balls the out. Ball pops out. Roberts able to come up with it. And how about this play by the home team, the Showboats? Season so far, and he beats Kilaga, the left tackle. Just a nice little move on the outside. He gets to Garbers, gets the ball out, and recovers it. And then at the end, a little bit of extracurricular after being thrown to the ground, but it was an outstanding rush. He gets to the outside and finishes at the quarterback. You said trick play? <laughs> Eyebrows raised. This time it's Victor again. Over left tackle. Barreling his way ahead to the 30, an eight-yard pickup. How the receivers watched it underneath crossing routes, he just said. No fake it to Victor. Davis. Looking He's long. Got Cookus He's got it. has his man, Davis. It'll be first down and goal for the Showboats. You got right there in the slot, Davis. He's number two up top, and he gets the over route. It's that over drag, and nobody picks him up. That's actually brought in from New Orleans and the USFL from a year ago. Now in Memphis in the 23-yard attempt, sneaks through. First three led to a touchdown and a field goal. Sandwiched around a punt. Cookus wide open across the middle. First down, Showboats. As a team, Memphis had just 32 a week ago, most of those by the quarterback. Victor's been active and shoved out in plus territory, close to the UFL this year. You go for one, two, or three, and the one-point try from the two-yard line. Ball popped out late. I believe they're gonna rule him down before the fumble. That should be enough for a first down. We're just taking another look. The VP of officiating for the UFL, Mike Pereira. On third down, Garbers escapes for a moment and then not for long, driven down. Try to swing on the field for the first time. At running back, he'll get the swing pass. Shove one defender aside, then rammed out of bounds hard. That was Jordan Williams. That's a good drive, sort of a drive starter after coming off of the sack. Second 19, get back on track. That's a nice pickup. Connected on one, rather, from over 50 yards a week ago. Cook us all afternoon. Surveys and takes off. Case Cook us with a first down and a lot more. Stutter steps out. I felt that one up here. Just watch the running back. He's going to be on the right side of your screen. Cook us gets out of the pocket. And watch number 27, Darius Victor, coming to your screen Oops. with a <laughs> That's a, that was a block that I heard all the way up here. On third down, Cookus looking in zone right away. Flush, got to go. Cookus wisely throws it away, and a late penalty marker and, comes and in. 17 also, 17 in the area. Back to the U.S. Army Command Center with Mike Pereira. Mike. After the kick, and it's punched up, and good to make it 13-0. And Mike, that was a curious scenario at the end of this half. I want to talk to him. I want to talk to him. I want to talk to him, talk to him can, right now. You can see Flip is a little bit automated about this, too. Uh, uh, it's one of those where, look at, 
we went to the wrong side first to talk to the coach about the penalty. There just was general confusion there. So to me, you think about it, you were right. There's no reason to decline the penalty. Pitch and catch. Motioning out with Stevenson looking that direction. He'll grab it on the move. Stevenson, a big gator. Into plus territory and driven down to the 40. How about a gain of 42 through the air for number five for San Antonio by far and away. Longest play from scrimmage. Yes. Countdown was on. Play action on third down and incomplete. And an outstanding partnership here for the UFL. Case Cook is back on the field, appears to be healthy. Launching deep in the pass is reeled in, but it is out of bounds. It got the ball right where it needed to be, but just ran out of real estate for Papali. That ball's thrown right where it needs to be. Okay, just couldn't go. get hey, both feet go. down. Hey, gun trips right, gun trips right, three jet plunk at 11, 11, 11. Got possession, got the left. Hey, gun trips right, three jet plunk at. Didn't get the other down. Would have been a gain of 26. Oh, man. And instead, it's third down. Titus Swin on the field. Memphis from near midfield. Cookus brought down. And the side swipe by Wyatt Ray <laughs> results in a sack and a loss of five. Yeah, he's just on the left. He's coming right there and just fast through. He gets all the way through. So it's just a slap, slap, come through. And he finds a way to just slap him. Down. And Memphis has done a terrific job of tackling and getting guys down. Now you think about Woods and TJ Green. Fifth straight punt for San Antonio. Elder from the 30. Try to Ooh. cut it back. How about the spin? He'll make something out of nothing. It's still on his feet. For the Memphis Showboats. Watch the spin move. Just Elder gets two guys in one. Put him in that spin cycle. Sounds like somebody speaking from experience over there. <laughs> Second and 26. Cookus again floats one deep. Man-to-man -man coverage. That ball was in the air forever, and it's reeled in by Adams. Hey. Jonathan Adams hey. in front of Darius Phillips. Mono a mano. It was almost like a punt, and we're waiting for the ball to come down, and all Phillips did was mistime his jump. He thought the ball would sail more toward the sideline. He goes on the outside. Adams was able to just stay up and high point the football. I mean, I guess you could, but you don't have to. 22-yard attempt. The Michigan State graduate, Matt Coughlin, perfect today. After a two-for-four start a week ago. And he'll bang it through. Well, what a game we got tomorrow. South Carolina, Iowa. That's that's what we that's how that's what we drew up, we thought, before the season started. Yeah, the rematch of the same two teams that met in the final four. Last year, Stevenson a high step and ushered out at the 42. Where Chase Garber's back on the field. Something's got to give with his San Antonio offense. Will be Latimer racing ahead into plus territory. And that's one way to do it. The tight end gets involved in a gain of 14. Yeah. Kyrie Woods missed a tackle there that could have stopped that play dead in his tracks. Time winding down in our third quarter. Through the seam, there he is again. Down, you can go for two points after a touchdown and even three from the 10 yard line if you choose. Wide open, Stevenson, and finally San Antonio finds a way into the end zone. Left that defender all by himself. That's it. He goes out and then goes up. And that's an easy throw. The three point try would be from the 10, a one point effort from the two. He's got him. Into the flats, reaching across the goal line, and the two-point play is good. Make it 16 to 8. John Lovett. A one-possession game, an intriguing notion for the Brahmas, who have brought the drama, as you indicated, Kirk. They did score another touchdown. Would you go for the game-tying two-point play or go for the win from the 10-yard line with a three-point conversion? Burn some clock, but this is far from over. 12 personnel with the two tight ends and the one back. The slant, Davis. All game long. Seventh foul on the defense. 11th penalty overall. Cookus delivers a strike. Adams has it. It'll be first and goal. Victor, 5'7", 230 pounds. Another I formation. Look, trouble on the exchange. There was contact with a fullback. And Cookus, wise to just dive on top of it to go down as much as you can and kick the field goal. 
Just the exchange there. No. Off the fullback, balls on the ground, recover. Chance to make it a two possession game. Coglin will do exactly that. Keeping it real. He wasn't happy. <laughs> Empty backfield on first down. Garbers with time, has his guy on the post corner, Landon Akers. And watch the eyes of Garbers. He sees it, see how he comes back, sets his feet. That's a lot of acronyms. Garbers has completed seven straight, trying to make it eight. He does, and that should be enough for a first down. Risky play on fourth and one instead of the kick. They'll go for it. Latimer motions out. Garbers has to go. Directing traffic, throws a pass, and it's intercepted. Delrick Abrams Jr. an enormous play for an offense and a nice job by Memphis. They were all over it. Nice job of everybody had their eyes on. Vantage Memphis 19 to 8. They'll get it back. And after the penalty, Victor rumbles his way for big yardage and close to another first down. Two Played for the New Jersey Generals in the USFL a season ago. Offensive player of the year back in 2022. Another penalty marker comes oh, out. Wow. Well, I'm going to offset that because you guys watch are both. 77, <laughs> Michelle. Watch yeah, 77. I'm, gonna get, I'm going to offset unsportsmanlike on 77 and 11 Mayday. They're just holding on to each other afterwards. Offsetting. Number 11 got frustrated, did swat 77's hands away, but he was being held up by 77 Let's after the play. Let's get you to the U.S. Army Command Center with Mike Pereira. There are unsportsmanlike conduct fouls on both teams. Number 77, offense, his first of the game. Number 11, defense, he is ejected. The foul's offset, second down. 19 to eight, Brahmas get it back on the verge of losing their first game here in week two of this UFL season. Garbers escapes, floats it, has his guy. That's enough for a first down near the 44, and he was never touched. Cody Latimer rumbles into plus territory. Very good to know, Kirk. We love our questions being answered. Succinctly like that, Garbers back to live action, completes a pass. That's why Kirkman wasn't able to get free. Here we go. Second and goal from the five. Floated end zone, penalty marker was the pass caught. It was for the touchdown. Party, the touchdown gives them six. Correct. But I love this conversation now. From the 10, and here we go. Garbers in zone. Incomplete. Abrams broke it up. But this ball needs to get to the 40-yard line for this game to extend. Fourth and 12, empty backfield for Garbers. Ready, ready, go. Oh, and he's gone all afternoon to survey and throw at the line. And let's see. He's got it. Right at the 40 was Kirkland. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Drive continues. Garber Stevenson into plus territory. Barrel down to the 45. Ready, ready, go. On second and 10. Bring Garbers. Pressure. Stevenson wide open. Still on his feet. Stevenson ushered out inside the 20. Oh, that's a huge play to run toward the sideline and then get out of bounds. Garber's cool in the pocket to get it to Stevenson and then the ability to make guys side. miss in the middle of the field. Arch in two scores. San Antonio on the comeback trail. The out pattern is there to Justin Smith. Not enough time. Probably out of timeouts. Do not have a challenge. Garber's end zone and it's caught. Cody Latimer. San Antonio's in front. Unbelievable. And Cody Latimer, the guy who I said, he's your guy in the fourth quarter. Chase Garbers extends the play. And he finds enough time. And San Antonio, a one and a half point favorite coming down to this play after the penalty. And look what they got. Oh, somewhere oh, the wow. bad beat hurts. <laughs> SVP, we feel your pain, brother. Hey, it's not over yet. <laughs> we got three seconds to go. Pitchy, pitchy, woo woo. Uh oh, here we go. No squibbing around. And a quick kneel down at the 37. One more play. 
Oh, Cook has oh. lost the handle. He'll tap it back to himself oh, and take oh, off and lose it again. And the game ends with Cookus losing the football twice. Somehow, some way, San Antonio finds a way. Memphis with the cover, but an unbelievable ending in Memphis on this Saturday afternoon, 20 to 19.